So in the video today I like to talk about this new amplifier. So Fossi was very kind to send it to me. And in the video today I like to talk a little bit about it. So first off, it has uh, three ports. So you have left and right channel. But you also have like a subwoofer uh, output. And it's for passive subwoofer. So a subwoofer that doesn't have power on its own. So I have like this Philips speaker on it. On the left and also on the right channel. And down here, let's see if we can get it on the camera, is the subwoofer. So the subwoofer is like one I bought very cheap on like some kind of eBay, just for this test. So yeah, the overall look of the amplifier is very well built. It's built fully out of metal. The buttons do feel very nice. And you can like adjust every frequency, but also like the loudness of the subwoofer. I decided to put the subwoofer on around 50% and the sub frequency also on like 50% of the level. I'm not sure what kind of frequency it is. There's no like indication. The treble or put a little bit more and the bass also like in the middle. And if you put the phone like on, I believe 80 or 90%, it's very loud and still the distortion is pretty minimal. I do have to say that the wired connection, so with auxiliary cable, is a little bit better than Bluetooth because this has like the normal Bluetooth codec. So I do prefer to like use the white cable if it's possible. And yeah, let's just say that the overall sound quality of this amplifier is powerful, strong, and definitely for a party. So I will yeah show you guys now some audio samples, so you guys can see how it kind of performs. But I do have to warn you because of the power output of this like setup, especially with the subwoofer, the audio quality of the recording is a little bit like I would say compressed because of the loudness. <laughs> So after some audio sample, I can definitely say that this amplifier works very fine. As I made before with the Bluetooth codec, I did hope it would like have Epi, TX or S or anything that's a little bit better than the normal Bluetooth codec. But don't get me wrong, the amplifier works very great. And if you have something with a wire, for example, like a disc player or anything else, or just connect your phone with the wire or a laptop and you then play Tidal, it sounds very crisp and very dynamic. Overall, a very great setup, especially with this like Philips speaker. This like subwoofer from Samsung, which is pretty deep actually for like a tiny subwoofer. And of course here the Philips as well. Overall, a great setup. 